Puhalski. I work with Lee Nielsen Toolworks, and I'm here to uh, talk about the benefits and advantages of using a toothed blade in a low angle jack plane, the number 62, for roughing. The toothed blade gives you the ability to remove a lot of material quickly without causing tear out in highly figured material. So if you've run this board through a power planer and you've gotten some chip out and you have some areas that, that you need to get the, the board knocked down quickly, the danger by using a blade that isn't toothed, that has a continuous blade, is that it's going to engage and gouge the material and take away more than you want and cause tear out. The tooth blade, by its nature, is simply chisel teeth running across the blade and they don't engage fully into the material. So you, you don't get a continuous cut, so you don't therefore get the, the tear out that you would get from a full blade. The changeover is very simple. You simply remove the cap iron. You always want to make sure there's no debris down on the, on the bedding point of the blade. The throat opening on this plane is adjusted by simply turning the front knob and moving the plate. I want to bring the blade down to a point where it's giving me a heavy aggressive cut. By sighting along the sole of the plane from the toe to the heel, I can see how much blade is exposed. Now because this piece has already been worked with the, with the scrub plane, there's a sort of serious amount of tear out in the, in the surface. I need to get rid of that. I'm going to work at a diagonal across the material, up and back from one side, and then switch and work from the other side. The reason for working that way is I don't want to introduce twist to the material. Looks like I can go even a little bit heavier. You'll notice I want to keep the throat opening fairly wide. That just lets the shavings that are coming through clear easily. As I'm working down into the piece, you can see all the areas where the tear out was going away. I'm getting not a clean, smooth surface, but it's flattening out. I'm going to go in the length to make sure I haven't taken the board out of flat in its length. And then one more time at a diagonal, removes about half the amount of material I need to get rid of to get back to a smooth surface. Switch over to my regular blade. Set my cutting depth. Close down the throat opening. And I can clean up the marks from the toothing blade. Now first it doesn't look like you're taking much material. Don't be tempted to deepen your cut. Simply keep going back and forth across the piece 
And as soon as you've gotten rid of the high spots that are the, the ridges from the tooth mark, tooth blade, you'll start getting shavings. So as you can see, in a very short amount of time, you're able to clean up what was quite a mess and end up showing the stunning figure in a piece. The next step would be to switch over to a smoothing plane with a high angle frog. Mm -hmm.